Hello, we're in Warwick, Massachusetts on West Franklin Street. We're going to go from West Franklin Street to Franklin Street. You can see it's very residential up by Northampton Street where this starts. This is a neighborhood started on the land of James Newton. As he sold it off, he developed a residential neighborhood. We're passing right by the side of Rohan Park. And I'm going to give a tour here in the year 2024 around the park and then into the side streets to explain what this area was about. It was also developed um, soon within 100 yards by or Orion Allen. He developed the Oakdale neighborhood. Also, this is the Oakdale neighborhood. Franklin Street goes into Churchill neighborhood along the way. And here in this park, Rowan Park, it used to be the Kirtland School. And it was right plop in the middle. And when they took that down in 1980, they changed it over to a nice little park. So it forms the nucleus of a neighborhood. And it always did. And so if you go on a tour physically, I'll bring you around some of the side streets where you see them. Some of the properties of the wonderful houses. But you can see on both sides of the street, there are... Uh, old Victorian homes. Some of them had their uh, first or second porches uh, built around, but some don't. Some kept them open like they were meant to be. Now, of course, Franklin Street is so long that it goes from very heavily residential into the canals area in the downtown. Okay, and at this corner with Beach Street, you can see on all the corners, there used to be a lot of things going on here. It was Elmwood Park towards the right corner, and that park's got away, been replaced by Mackenzie Field and Young Softball Field. And the whole area has been changed over to athletic fields or schools. And then on the left hand side, it used to be the second rendition of Hoyt High School and, and Hoyt Trade School, and that was taken down too. Now Franklin Street starts after we get off this rustic boulevard. So this was changed around in 1981 on purpose to reflect the expansion of 391 outwards into the city. And there's actually plans of making 391 come right up to this point right, right now. But they said, oh, we can, we can develop this area better. And they did. Okay, so Pine Street, because of Rennes Boulevard, starts up, uh, off of a little angle, but it lines up with West Pine Street, and I'm sorry, West Franklin Street. So we're going to go through this Jackson Park neighborhood, and the houses on um, both sides are made in 1980 to, to um, replace the Jackson Parkway, and there's a tiny little park here. We're crossing Elm Street now. So it went from Victorian homes to a place with homes for the Jackson Parkway, and then tenement homes start up. And on our left hand side, you see the back of the Sacred Heart Church and Rectory and Auditorium. So you always need a school around a, a neighborhood, and this was certainly the Churchill's um, center nucleus. And the street we're looking at now is Maple Street. We're going to cross that one. And on the other side is more tenement houses. And what we're going to do... Is go right down to 
through that mill that we see in the distance. We're going to cross High Street, and you see more tin houses on both sides. down to Commercial Street and you see in, ahead, ahead of you the Berkshire Yarn Company started by a company from the Berkshires that make yarn and it was built in 1910 it it was made probably the last mill hook to go up it's enormous five stories high and its function was to make yarn sure that company current turned into a financial company called the Berkshire Hathaway's Company. The mill is, could be still used. I hear the ground floor is used for storage still. It's a great location, but it's above the first level canal. But by 1910, by 1910, they didn't need to be on the canal anymore because electricity had come to Holyoke. All right, so this is the end of my Franklin Street tour. I hope you learned something.